right welcome guys to another dual universe video uh hopefully not too long so today we're gonna take a look at how to set up this contraption uh, which will give you status updates on each one of the tiers for each ore um you can see here it'll give you the name um the quantity so how much uh, of each uh, material you have in here uh, in tons uh, a percentage so this means that uh, the container is 66 percent uh, full and then it'll give you a quick uh, status uh, if it's above 50 percent it'll give you good green letters if it's below 25 percent low and red if it's between 25 and 50 um, a low and orange so kind of like hey heads up it's starting to get low so as you can see i need to go mine next couple hours to stock up um, all right so what do you need uh, for this setup uh, so first of all you'll need five screens I'm using uh, medium screens I guess if you get an extra large screen you could probably squeeze everything in one and modify the scripts um, and let's go into my handy dandy hidden server room here uh, you'll need one, two, three, four, five uh, programming boards. So that'll be one board for each tier. So I kind of segregated everything into kind of like the same setup, one per tier of ores. And that is uh, matching this right here. So you have everything for this, one setup for this, one setup for this, one setup, setup for them. The only thing that is uh, connected between uh, different uh, boards is this switch so in an overview eventually when you turn this on um, a signal gets sent to the switch signal gets relayed um, or sorry sent here to the relay and then that goes out to all the boards and all the screens as well so just by uh, activating and deactivating uh, the first board it'll turn on everything here and all the screens down there so you can control them on one spot you can also um activate deactivate each one of them that way it's all together um all right so let's take a look at uh what you will need oh first of all um i added um all the code uh, for these, uh, I made it available to you guys on GitHub. So just check out the link uh, below. And you'll see a readme file with all the instructions that we're going to cover in this video, um, along with uh, the actual code, like the main section of the code uh, for each board, and also a quick setup so you can just copy paste and uh, set up each board um, pretty easily. So let's see what's in here. So if we go to advanced, edit Lua script, as you can see, uh, you will need to have each one of the slots here is linked to a container and named by the or easily follow. And then one slot for the switch and one slot for the screen. Every other uh, programming board won't have the switch. All you need is the uh, the screen for each, each one and then the different uh, ors. Um, under unit, you will add three filters, one for start, and this will start a timer. And this one will, um, send that on signal to the switch, which gets passed to the relay and then gets passed to all the, uh, it turns on and turns off all the, uh, program boards and the, uh, screens. Uh, stop. You don't really need this, but it's there if you want it. And this, um, actually, ugh. We need to add one more thing here. So probably we need to update that into GitHub. I'll double check. All right, let's go back here. Okay, so when you stop, uh, this will send the deactivation uh, signal to the switch. And also you can clear the, uh, the screen, like the content in the screen if you want. This last part is not, doesn't do anything, we'll just clear the text. Okay, so 
if you notice here, this timer is called live. You need to make sure you can call it whatever you want, but whatever you call it, this tick when you create it needs to you need to enter that same name here. Now for the code inside the uh, the tick, this is where like all the magic is happening, right? So we have a function just to handle some of the rounding. Um, and then this function right here handles the color coding and the names for the status. So you can play around with this if you want. So in this case, it's a little confusing, but kind of makes sense to me. So you guys can change that if you want. So if it's less than 25%, um, it'll um, add the word low and red. If it's between 25 and 50, it's the same word for low, but in orange. So if you want to change this to different thing, like getting low or whatever you want to call it, that makes more sense to you. Just change that here. You can change the colors. Um, and then if it's um, pretty much anything else, if it's above 50%, it'll just say green, good. So it's an easy way to know, all right, am I good? Do I need to start thinking about going mining or shoot? I got to go right now. Um, and then you have a set of variables per um, per or, so they all have the same one. Uh, so this max box site, so this max number, and I have the comment here, so you guys can look at it. Um, this is the maximum uh, mass allowed in the container for me. So this is something that you probably need to update uh, yourself based on your talents so the higher you have some of the talents that had to do with inventory advance you might have a bigger capacity so you might have to update this i'm using um small containers so this might change even if you also use a small container and that would affect the percentages so you definitely want to make sure you update this and i'll show you what that is um also um if you wanted to use, and the reason why I also separated this and made it a, a parameter so you can change it easily is if you wanted to, for example, let's say bauxite is something that you have a lot of it in, uh, you use a lot. You could use a medium or a large container if you wanted to. So definitely you want to change this number. Uh, so you don't have to set up every single ore with medium containers or every single ore with uh, large containers. You can just set up small extra small whatever makes sense to you and just adjust the number here to match uh what the maximum capacity for that container is and uh, the weight uh this is the actual uh unit mass per ore and that goes into calculations for um the averages uh, both of these variables are parameters so parameters are something that you can easily uh, adjust without having to actually go into the code. So if we look at the board, right click, advance, oh, you can go to edit Lua parameters and you can see here are the variables. So you can actually just change the values here, press OK, and that will save uh, those values in there, overwrite them. So you don't have to go into the code um, and change those. So you'll have for each um, or you'll have two, one for the max, as the containers maximum size or capacity and then the weight for each one of the um the ores so where do we pull that value from here if we look at a container you hover over here that gives you what the maximum is so as you can see i have 6795.60 um liters out of 10,400. So that's where I get that number from. So obviously, if you go into a bigger container, that's a much larger number. And this and that number will also change based on your uh, talents. And uh, my inventory, uh, let's see, inventory manager, and proficiency. Yep. Um, yep. Plus ten percent of storage volume on containers when put down. So, based on how much you have work on these skills, your numbers might change. Even if you use the same container size, so these are all smalls. Uh, so even if you set up this the same, that number needs to be updated probably. Okay, and like I said, this all all that code that we look up there just 
comes back and I guess display here one per uh, tier. All right, let's go back up here. Um, the next thing you want to set up is um, all these linkages. So, oh, actually we didn't, uh, let's, let's finish going through the code. And then we'll look at the linkage. So let's see what else we got here. So this is all the same, just one for each uh, variable. Same. Um, here we are kind of putting together all the HTML code that is going to be displayed on the screen. So you can feel free to change some of these values if you want to make something bigger or smaller. Um, change the title, whatever you want. Uh, all right there. And then this just pulls, uh, creates a little table and then pretty much each, uh, these are the titles. And then this is the information that gets pulled. So these are just variables that come up up here. Don't really need to mess with that. And then it just gets uh, set in the screen this way. And that's 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 it. So it's uh, not not too crazy. Okay. And if you look at linkages, um, so like I said, from here we are linking uh, straight to this uh, switch. And then from the switch, simply create a, a link to the relay. And then from the relay, um, connect each one of the programming boards and then a link to each one of the, those blue links go to each one of the screens here so you can turn them on and off. And also um, these green uh, links go to the screens and the container. So this, for me, this is programming board one. So this will go to the screen that is for tier one. And each one of these will go to each uh, screen so they can display the right values. So once again, you will have one um, first programming board uh, to the switch and one switch to the relay. Then the relay um, is the one that turns everything on and off. So we'll have one link for each the subsequent uh, programming boards and then one for each of the uh, screens down below or whatever you um, next each one of the programming boards needs to have a link to a container for each one of the ors you can see i'm down here and it goes it goes one link for each one of these and just make sure you know put box sighting here that link matches whatever plot here or uh, for box that is that way it picks up the right quantities and stuff and that's uh that's pretty much it so um maybe things for the future uh I really don't like having to like, you know, kind of know, and, I, and I'm, I'm going to put some uh, extra small screens on each one of this so I can easily tell which uh, or container this is, but I really don't like having to select where to put my or when I come down. I really enjoy just dumping all my or into one big container. So I'll probably, uh, reorganize this to have several of the um, whatever the industries are that move look at the name of whatever moves uh, items from one um, container to another probably set a whole bunch of them to match each one of these containers that way I can just dump everything in here everything is moved to the right container then that's still displayed here um, like I said you can modify the, the code if you wanted to just have everything in Three screens, maybe. Um, probably add more to each one, but I really wanted to have everything separated, which is makes more sense to me. Writing code or looking at it, um, and also I wanted to make sure that these um, the font in this was big enough. I don't have to come up here and try to like decipher what what I'm looking at. I can just easily. Look in here, have a quick view. I also wanted to leave some room for uh, expansion. So I don't know if a year or two from now, whatever, 
they add two or three more ores per tier um you won't have enough slots in each one of those and then you have to redo the whole thing anyway so this should be pretty solid for for a while um um yeah i think i forgot to mention also the the parameter in here for the parameter here for can i please get into the ant room all right look at parameters here like I said, this one is for the container, but these ones are for each one of the weights. Uh, so I put that in there as a, as a variable or as a parameter so that it, it can be updated just in case, I don't know, a patch comes out or whatever. And uh, and for some reason, they make a change to the unit mass of that ore. It can easily be updated. You don't have to redo the whole setup. All right, cool. Uh, well, like I said, uh, the link is gonna be, uh, the link to all this code and instructions is gonna be on GitHub. I have the link in there. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, post it on the, uh, on the video, comment on it, like, subscribe, you know what to do. Um, I would love to hear about if you guys have your own scripts or, or monitoring, let me know. Also, Full disclosure, I, I am not a programmer, so I'm sure for you guys that are actual programmers out there, some of this code is probably nonsense, so do let me know uh, if you have any constructive criticism, uh, and I'll make sure to update uh, some of the scripts. This is also my first time doing anything in Lua, so uh, all new experience for me. All right, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos on Dual Universe. Catch you in the game.